My name is Bharat Nagpal. You're watching iGAN, and today we are looking at the new HTC Grip. Now, before I start off with looking at this device, uh, I was bound to tell you that this is not the final product. Uh, the final product has also aesthetic changes in terms of the color and the way it will look on your hand, and also a lot of software revisions uh, that you will see once you look at the final product. So this is a sort of pre-early, pre-stage prototype uh, that you guys are looking at. So with the first glance, it looks like any other device or any other accessory in terms of a health accessory that you can find in the market. So you have lots of bands, the Fitbit, Nike Fuel Band, Garmin Vivo Fit. You have a bunch of these accessories that allow you to do a lot with uh, your devices and also some that allow you to track basic workout routines. The device is fairly simplistic and it is made out of a soft touch hardened rubber compound which is seen in most of the fitness bands available today. On the inside is a grippy web type surface uh, which will be in lime green color in the final edition. Although I personally prefer this color to that one. Now a couple of things that set the HTC grip apart is its advanced stacking as well as the fact that it has GPS inbuilt. You also have a vibration motor and everything is controlled by a 1.8 inch 36 by 160 pixel display out here on the front. Now this display is a passive matrix OLED display so you'll have excellent outdoor visibility. The device will be available in the North American market for $199 in spring and will be brought to other markets by the end of the year. Everything on the HTC Grip is controlled by the Under Armour record app and it will store all your data, help you control the device and uh, sort of uh, customize it according to your needs. So you can turn off the GPS if you don't need it, you can turn off the vibration if you don't need it. If I quickly go through the menu, you have a quick sort of panel on the top over here. It lets you control the brightness levels. You also have a eco battery saving mode, which you can turn on or off. You also have a battery indication which will tell you how much battery life remains. And then your notifications if you are connected to a smartphone. In my case, I'm not. It will track all your data, the amount of steps that you have taken, uh, the distance that you have traveled, the calories that you have burnt, and how much you have slept. You can also pair it with most Bluetooth heart rate monitors. Uh, the chest strap kinds uh, that will connect to your device or to your Android or iOS device and basically get that information on here as well. Now you have several types of workouts that you can choose, outdoor walking or indoor walking. You also have running or indoor running. You also have cycling or indoor cycling and then you have weights, the gym mode as well as others which you can customize and pre-plan according to your requirements. You can also sync in with other applications so you can get your weather information over here. You can also control your music on your smartphone uh, from uh, this pad over here. You can also go into the settings real quick and sort of look at the settings. You can look for your phone. You can put it in airplane mode and you can also turn it off by going into the settings panel. It also sync up your calendar, so if you have any calendar uh, entries on your account, it will show up on your fitness band, so you can be on top of your appointments, etc. You do have a tiny vibration motor that will give you notifications if your phone is ringing, and it will help you control or silence your phone, etc. directly from the HTC Grip. Now the HTC Grip will be available in three sizes, small, medium and large, and then you'll have these additional add-on links uh, that will be available inside the box. These are made out of stainless steel. And you'll get two, depending on what size you get, you'll get two uh, different sizes to increase that size to a larger size as per your requirements. And you do have a clasp over here, which will help you sort of close up. And you have two buttons in a standard watch style to sort of remove uh, this clasp. It slips on quite easily and it's fairly uh, good to uh, use. And uh, it feels really nice and well built. And it sort of reminds, in terms of the design and capability, it also sort of reminds you of uh, the Nike Fuel Band, which has a similar design, uh, similar sort of uh, interface. You do not have a touchscreen on uh, the Fuel Band, but you do get uh, similar kind of capabilities as well as similar kind of materials 
and a clasp mechanism uh, that allows you to add on additional uh, sort of extenders onto the fuel band and over here you can do the same thing. Now the charging port for this lies within this and you will need a proprietary charging cable. Uh, this allows the device to be IP57 rated so you can uh, technically take it underwater for about 30 minutes but HTC is not recommending that. They are recommending that you do not go swimming with this device. Uh, however, you can sweat on it in the gym or while working out and you can take a shower in it which is not even recommended on the fuel band. So definitely better that you can go take a shower in while wearing this on. So you don't essentially need to get rid of it. Now the crux of the matter is the battery life. You have a 100 milliamp hour battery which will last you two and a half days if you're not using the GPS. If you are using the GPS, your battery will drain out in about five to six hours of use, uh, which may be a problem for some people. The device is expected to go on sale early spring for a price of US dollar 199. It is expected in the other markets by autumn uh, with Under Armour or without is currently unknown, uh, but we'll see when it does and we'll see what final capabilities will be unveiled in the final version of this. Uh, we know for a fact that the color is going to be a lime green color. So there you go guys, this is Bharat Nagpal taking a quick look at the new HTC Grip. Feel free to leave your queries in the comment section below and check out full details on the Grip as well as other launches from HTC and other companies at the Mobile World Congress on iGAN.in. Thank you guys for watching.